guys let's look at this problem right here this question is asking show that if one beam of a two beam interference setup has an irradiance of n times that of the other beam the fringe visibility is given by v is equal to two square root of n over n plus one okay we are going to show this one now first of all from the given information we know that i1 is equal to n times the other interference so n times i2 so that's what given now using this one we are going to derive this equation now to show to show this equation what are we going to do is we are going to use the visibility equation because we represent visibility and if you remember visibility is given by i max minus i min divided by i max plus i min okay and to calculate i max we use this equation that is i1 plus i2 plus 2 square root of i1 plus I1 times I2 and this is for I max and minus to calculate I min we just subtract the two I1 I2 right so it's going to be exactly the same pattern we, we have to have minus here and if you put that one here we are going to have I1 plus I2 minus 2 square root of I1 times I2 and in the denominator we are going to put the same thing but here we have to have addition right so this is going to be I1 plus I2 plus 2 square root of i1 times i2 plus then we are going to put the same thing that's going to be i1 plus i2 minus 2 square root of i1 times i2 okay now let's try to simplify everything and from this one you can see if we simplify this i1 i2 cancels each other because this is positive i1 positive i2 when we put this negative here this one are, this is going to cancel each other right so these two cancel each other and this minus become minus minus that's going to turn into plus so 2 i1 i2 will turn into 2 1 actually 2 square root of i1 i2 plus 2 square root of i1 i2 that's going to become 4 square root of i1 i2 okay and in the denominator we are going to have 2 times of i1 i2 because i1 i1 2 i1 i2 i2 2 i2 and this uh, square root of this one is going to cancel because this one plus this one minus so these two are going to cancel and we are going to get two times i1 plus i2 okay from this one we can simplify this one furthermore like we can cancel this two and four and that's going to become two square root of i1 i2 and then in the denominator we are going to have i1 plus i2 now from the initial given information we know that i1 is equal to two actually n times i2 so instead of i1 we are going to plug n times i2 everywhere and if you do that this is going to become 2 times square root of n times i2 and i2 in the denominator we are going to have instead of i1 we are going to plug n i2 so this is going to become n i2 plus i2 and uh, i2 times i2 that's going to be i2 square and if we take this one out of the square root that's going to be just i2 and from the denominator i2 cancels everywhere right let's write this one 2 square root of n i2 square is going to be just i2 outside and in the denominator we have n i2 plus i2 and we can cancel all of this i2 so this i2 cancels this i2 cancels this i2 cancels so we are left with 2 square root of n over n plus 1 so that's what the question is asking to show that visibility is equal to this equation now we have shown visibility is equal to this equation because this is exactly the same equation right so we have derived this one now let's look at the second problem the second problem is asking determine the beam irradiance ratios for the visibilities of 0 0.96 0 0.9 0 0.8 and 0 0.5 now to calculate this visibility determine the beam irradiance so we are interested in calculating the beam irradiance now in order to do this one what we can do is we can rearrange this equation if we rearrange this equation we know that v is equal to 2 square root of n over n plus 1 and if we bring this n plus 1 to this side this is going to be v times n plus 1 that's going to be equal to 2 square root of n okay now if we square both sides to get rid of the square root of n this is going to become v square and uh, if we square this one n plus 1 whole square that's going to become n square plus 1 plus 2n right and in the other side we are going to have 4n and now we have derived the equation and also we can this more actually 4 to this side and that way we will get v square n square let's multiply this one 
v square n square plus v square plus 2 n v square 2 n v square minus 4 n is equal to 0. So this is the equation we derived. I think it's better to keep it's better to keep in this or we can take uh, n square n and v square common because we are trying to bring a quadratic formula pattern right so here we can take n square n square let's keep it as it is so v square n square v square n square and here we can take n common because we have two things with n so if we take n common this is going to become 2v square minus 4 and uh, in the last one we are going to have v square is equal to 0 so now we are going to plug all the values the given visibilities let's try for the first one okay let's look at one example and if we plug for the first one first one is 0 0.96 if v is equal to 0 0.96 then if we plug this into this equation this is our derived equation and if we plug the v value in this equation this is going to become 0 0.96 square n square plus 2 times 0 0.96 square minus 4 times n and after that we are going to have 0 0.96 square because this is v square 0 0.96 square is equal to 0 and this is a quadratic formula we can solve for this one using like a, we can use the quadratic formula to solve this equation right and uh, if you solve this one you are going to get n is equal to 1.78 or 1 over 1.78 you can do the same thing for all of these values you can plug it in this equation and use the quadratic formula to find out this n value and if you calculate for the second one you are going to get so let's put this is for the first one for the second one 0 0.9 you will get n is equal to 2.55 or 1 over 2.55 and for so let's put 3 right here for other value is 0 0.8 for 0 0.8 v is equal to 0 0.8 you will get n is equal to 4 or 1 over 4 and uh, the fourth one we have 0 0.5 for v is equal to 0 0.5 n value is going to become 13.93 or 1 over 13.93 and that's how we do this kind of problems i hope this helps thanks for watching